Hi, this is Kyle with Kirksville Web Design. Today we're going to take a look, a tutorial about accessibility and Google Sites. Uh, very important for uh, specifically education, uh, school sites, and all sites in general. We want to, them to be accessible. That also promotes uh, user friendliness and SEO. So today as a guideline of sorts, we have the support article from Google, make your site more accessible. Now, primarily what's available uh, for accessibility, besides like what's natively built into Google Sites for responsiveness and design choices that you might make for like text and backgrounds and such, there is alt text. Now, let's take a look at this uh, introduction here. When you create a site, follow the tips below to make it more readable by everyone including people with disabilities. Include alt text as your first subheading. Use alternate text or alt text for images, logos, drawings, and other graphics. Without alt text, screen reader users just hear image. Some images automatically include alt text, so it's a good idea to check that alt text is what you want. So we can go in specifically and assign alt text to I think all images within Google Sites. Now it covers all of these here, but let's create a video tutorial and a visual to assign alt text. How about that? So first, let's take let's kind of do a top top down approach here. What's the first graphic we see here? The logo, right? So if we go to the logo, the navigation settings brand images, which this is also kind of accessible, or it is accessible through the themes uh, submenu or side menu, the brand images. And you see here I have alt text assigned to my logo. So this kind of describes what what is this image convey? Uh, because for screen readers, want them to be able to read, well, this is a logo for Cursor Web Design, the Google Sites Designer, right? That's what this does. Now, next, what's what's here? In terms of images, we have this whole section background. Now, uh, for this, I'm using a section color of white, so it's not a big deal. But let's say you're using an image. Uh, I'm just going to upload one here temporarily so I can show you. I'll upload this image, which is white with some desks and stuff. So for this image, you can see once I've uploaded it, I can also add alt text for it. I mean, you know, what this is probably most of these kind of background images will be decorative, I would think. But if not, you want to add, you know, this is a background with desks. Yeah. I mean, it's not too important for this uh, specific example, but sometimes your background images can have important content that you want described with a with alt text and a screen reader for accessibility and people people understand that who have disabilities in visiting your website. I'm going to take, a, take that away though for now. What's next? I have an image right here, right? Alt text is in this three dot menu for the image. Again, use that to describe the image. Uh, what else is here? These are all just images and buttons. More images and buttons. Okay. So I'm covered in that way. Let's see if I missed anything here. Alt text. Um, inserted images, right? Background images, that's what I did for the section background. Logo, theme logo, and banner images, right? So when you upload a, a banner, which is uh, sometimes this, this hat, header here, you know, it can be like a, one of these things. And you can add, where do you add alt text for that? Oh, I think I have it in themes. So if you go to themes, images, header here, header here, this is the alt text for header. So is that only available here? Well, you know, I'm not using a, a any sort of content in my header background, so there's nothing for me to describe there. But as available here, I think also in terms of if you upload your logo here, you can add alt text here. Same with your... Favicon. Let me double check that. 
not entirely sure if Avicons get alt text. No. Yeah, Avicons do not get alt text. Logos do. So theme logo, banner images, correct. Yes, yeah, so they talk about the themes panel. Mm -hmm. uh, custom theme headers. Yep, we don't have that. Also available in the themes. So if you're not seeing it in the page content itself and editing page content or section headers or something like that, check your custom theme if you're using one. I contrast. Okay, so we're moving beyond alt text and we've covered that uh, thoroughly. So high contrast, you know, let's take my site for example, you know, I'm using a relatively dark shade of uh, of purple here. So I would have white against it, or if I'm using white, use a dark shade of darker black text. So just having high contrast, uh, and it gives the example of, I mean, I have it a little bit more um, difficult, you could say here, where it's, you know, light gray with somewhat dark gray. So uh treading on on that line there but uh use high contrast talks about the specific ratio uh for that and see so it says avoid light gray text on a white background right informative link text right so for your buttons and for your links that to be descriptive not just click here what does that tell a person a screen reader it doesn't say what that button does. It'll say, click here for more information about building an internet on Google Sites. No, it just says click here. So it's it's vague and confusing. So promoting accessibility with Google Sites using text and alignment. You're using easy to read text. Just general user experience uh, guidelines anyway. But you know we're specifically talking about accessibility and tailoring the site for that. So we just check all the boxes, you know, that we've we've done here. Check text size, text to support formatting, and numbered and bulleted lists. Okay. So we've covered everything in the accessibility uh, for Google Sites. Now that's not everything that like all accessibility guidelines cover, but that's a lot of it and that's what's specifically here in this tutorial. So I hope you found that informative. I hope it helps you to build an accessible website with Google Sites. Thanks a lot, bye.